same thing on 10 and 11, we're going to solve for x. You'll notice these are a little bit different than the ones we just worked because they have fractions. That doesn't make them any harder, it just adds an extra step. So if we look at the denominators of our fraction, we have a 2 and a 5 and a 5. So what we're looking for is um, a multiple of both of those. Um, 2 can go into the same number that 5 can go into. And the easiest way to do that, um, there's many that you could pick from, but the easiest way is just multiply your two different denominators together. So 2 and 5 make 10. So we're just going to multiply both sides of the equation by 10. So we'll multiply this side by 10 and then this side by 10. And so to do that, you just distribute. So two or sorry, 10 times 1 half x, well half of 10 is 5. So that's going to give me 5x. And 10 times negative 3 fifths, um, if you need to use your calculator, you can. 5 goes into 10 two times, so that's going to give me negative 6. But again, if you need to use your calculator, it's just 10 times, and then in parentheses, we can put negative 3 divided by 5. And that gives me negative 6. So you might prefer to do that. Um, and then on the other side, again, we have 10 times 3 fifths, and we know that that's 6. Um, this time it's positive 6, so it's going to be 6x, and then 10 times negative 5 is negative 50. So now we got rid of the fractions, and now it looks just like all the problems that we've worked previously. So we can separate the left side and the right side. Uh, 5x is smaller. That's just what I prefer. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to subtract it on both sides. So this side gives me negative 6. Over here I get x minus 50. That's 1. I, you can put the 1 in front of it. You don't have to. Um, so I just leave it x. And then I need to get rid of that minus 50. So I'm going to add 50. So x equals 44. Again, we can plug that in. Um, so we can say 1 half x minus 3 fifths, and then on the other side we can say 3, 3 fifths x minus 5. And x is a really large number, so we may not see them cross. Um, we know, we can tell that they do cross somewhere around in this area, so let's go ahead and try it. It may not work, we may have to zoom out again. Second trace, 5, enter, enter, enter. And it didn't work because we need to zoom out. So we're going to enter and we're just going to zoom, 3, enter again. So now we can actually see, we know that the red line was below and now it's above. So second trace, 5, enter, 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 and x equals 44. So if you can't see the intersection, you're going to have to zoom out. That one was kind of hard to tell um, if, if they intersected over at that before we zoomed out again. So you may have to if it gives you that error message. So x equals 44 is our answer for number 10. Number 11, we have fractions again. And same thing here. Um, take your fraction of your denominator, or take the denominator, and if they're different, multiply them together. Here they're the same, so it's just 3. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3. So multiply this side by 3 and this side by 3. Um, when I multiply these, they have their, there's parentheses within um, these brackets here. Notice I use the brackets instead of the parentheses because I've already got parentheses. So when this occurs, all I have to do is multiply the coefficient with the number that I'm distributing. I'm not going to distribute it inside the parentheses. I'm going to just distribute it to that um, number right there that, that's in front of the parentheses. So 3 times 2 thirds, what happens is the 3's just cancel out. So you're left with 2 on the outside and then 2x minus 3. Over here, those 3's cancel out and so you're just left with x minus 3. Now some of you might put it in parentheses and put a 1 in front. Um, one times anything is that number, so I don't really need to put the one. You can if you prefer, but this is what it would look like. It will save us an extra step. So now I'm just going to distribute over here on the left. 
So that gives me 4x minus 6, and then again over here I have x minus 3. So x is smaller, so I'm going to subtract x. So that gives me 3x minus 6 equals negative 3, and then I'm going to add 6. So 3x equals positive 3, and divide by 3, so x equals 1. So again, I'm going to graph that. I zoomed out several times. Um, so I need to make sure that I set redo my window. So I'm just going to hit Zoom 6. So it's back to its normal screen. And then on the left side, I've got 2 thirds. And then, x, sorry, 2x minus 3. And then on the right side, I have 1 third. And then in parentheses, I have x minus 3. So when I graph those, they do intersect. So let's see if we're correct. Second trace, 5, enter, 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 and it says x equals 1. So that is our answer. So we know we're correct.